is up, dudes? I am in the car with Court, and we are hey, hey. 100. And three miles. 103.5 miles in. into a drive from Florida to Texas. Where we're gonna fish. Miles. We're gonna be fishing for a number of days. Um, some of it's gonna be garbage and boring, kind of like sitting in a car for 17 hours. And then other times when we're getting into the fishies, that's gonna be pretty epic. So stay tuned, pimps. We'll talk to you later. Right, dudes took a minute to stop here do a little maintenance part of these long trips like this is making sure you break down as few times as possible along the way we're 17 hour driving we don't need to waste time fixing the truck for 17 more hours so Thought about buying some overalls there. Decide not to. Kind of looking for a trucker jacket, really. Here we go, getting out of Florida, getting into whatever's right after. <laughs> the next day west. Uh, yeah, getting out of Florida now, heading west. Bama bound. Bama bound, baby. Bama bound. Been driving a bunch, taking a stop now, have some dinner. We're gonna heat up some burritos, sort of inside the car. There it is. Just gotta find a safe place for these bad Larrys. That's safe. Dinner prep. <laughs> I'm gonna give them 100 miles and then flip them. Sounds good. good. Alright dudes, we've had the run around, we're coming into Corpus now, and it has been a trip of all trips. We smacked down on some, some fly shops in Houston area, which was super awesome. Uh, the quality of places out here is phenomenal. Huge shout out to the guys at Bayou City Angler. They uh, gave us some good advice, and then uh, over at Gordy and Sons, they, they steered us in the right direction a little bit more. Appreciate both you guys giving us a little heads up on what we're getting into. We go tear it up. got to the water first day after three days of running around traveling and we're ready to go fishing so I'm stupid pumped grab some donuts from the shop and uh, pretty ready to go back at home looking at some of this footage and it's crazy how some of these fish just would not eat the fly and as soon as you came up on them they were already spooked it seemed and then other times you would find fish that you know would eat 
but the wind was so bad you couldn't make a good presentation and it just took a little bit of luck to get those fish uh, to see the fly and want to eat it. You know, for this trip, Core and I drove all the way from Florida to meet up with my good friend Aaron Gates, um, who obviously, as you can see, manages Gates Donut Shop there in Corpus, and he's a great fly angler, just a stellar dude, and uh, I always look forward to, to times I could spend with him. So getting out there and being able to have happy fish really just made this trip a huge success for us and was a great transition into the next phase of the trip. Fist in the big ones. The next phase was meeting up with Mac Elliott Media um, off of Instagram. She is an amazing photographer in general. She does a number of different things, but she's known for capturing some amazing redfish photos on the Texas coast. And meeting up with her was a huge pleasure. Um, we actually went out um, to a cabin out there on the marsh, got to stay for a few days, and fished a bunch of super happy fish uh, off the flats out there in Texas and it was just you know words words don't even cover it it was one of those things just tailing fish everywhere we didn't know which direction go this way that way there were fish all around us tailing almost all the time and it was black drum and redfish but just one of the best times I've had me and Court both were just blown away by it um, Michaela and her mom and dad came out there and just treated us like kings and it was uh, a, just a super, super good experience and hopefully one we can enjoy again, but check out some of the media from that. You know, fishing in, fishing in Texas was one thing, but we had to drive all the way back to Florida afterwards. And we got to this point where we bo it both hit me and Corey that we're, we're gonna have to go fish Louisiana. Cause there's no way we could drive past this thing. And it's the time of year over there, the fishing was red hot. So we met up with Royce and Nick and these cats were going fishing anyways. And we kind of just curtailed them and followed them, uh, man to fish some gnarly, gnarly marsh out there in Louisiana. So it didn't take long yeah. before we were on fish, and then it didn't take long before I decided to put the drone up and see where some big bull redfish were, and we found them.
Mom, give me some loving. <laughs> what? So nasty. I'm so Unreal. Long. What a day. Um, I don't have words, so don't point the camera at me too long. No words for that. Oh. Oh. You ready to take the back? Dude, I'll take the back. Yeah, I'll take the back. <laughs> so after landing this fish, I knew I had to hop on the back of the boat and do what I could do to get court on a bull redfish. And we had no idea what was gonna happen the rest of the day. We already were super pumped, but um, we pushed over to another island and started pulling and it wasn't long until he got hooked up. <laughs> Me. Fist in the big ones. You dog. Oh my gosh. When it's on red fishing. What a dream. Thanks, Royce. Love you, brother. Let's go do it again. Let's go. Your turn. My turn. <laughs> Upsize that little 40 you got earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Obviously, Court and I were super pumped about the way it turned out in Louisiana. And again, huge shout out to Royce and Nick for letting us tag along and see some of those amazing areas and, and have shots at those giant, giant fish like that. That was just icing on the cake to an already amazing trip with Aaron and Michaela. Um, this was just something that kind of happened because it wasn't, it wasn't planned. We were just going to drive back and then last minute we were like, you know what, let's just sleep the rest up wake up the next morning and we'll just fish in the morning and, and then it turned out we fished the whole day until it got dark um and didn't make it back to florida until the you know two three in the morning the next day so we were, we were super blessed with the whole trip and stoked to be able to share it with you guys here hopefully you all enjoyed all that and um until next time we'll catch you guys later deuces